Well, this summer we told you the story of a tragic accident that changed the life of a teenager forever. 18 year old Trevor Clare broke his neck and crushed parts of his spine when he dove into a wave and hit a sandbar in the Outer Banks. Now volunteers are pitching in to make his home handicap accessible, but they hit an unexpected snag. And 10 on your side's Maria Elena Ballores is here to explain. Maria Elena? Yeah, the construction on the Claire's family's home began back in October. Today, they told me that more than $50,000 of time, donations, and labor have gone into the project to make the, the home handicap accessible. But last week, they realized that a thief or thieves are delaying their progress. At that time when they called, it was just, I felt it was something I needed to do. Craig Roundtree is one of the almost 35 volunteers working on the Claire's home. He's the man behind the designs. We double the size of the room so he had plenty of room for his, you know, friends and family to come and gather. And while the renovations are going well, the theft of copper pipes has set them back by at least five days. Now all of the lines that were there are gone, so now they've had to go back in and put all new pipes in. The copper pipes were in a crawl space underneath the patio. Janice Powell says the $2,500 worth of pipes will be replaced with PVC piping. It's a bump in their plans, and that's where they're leaving it. They're not going to dim the spirit. They're not going to dim it. I wish they knew what was really going on here. The volunteers have not only created new space for Trevor, they're renovating other parts of the home. The family has yet to see any updates. They have gone above and beyond. I can't even explain how grateful I am. And while the work is difficult and the hours are long, the volunteers say it's all worth it. When you see a young man's life at 18 um, change so dramatically and so horribly and cruelly, uh, it makes you want to do something. The family is looking forward to moving back into their home as they work to adjust to their new reality. You just got to do it and we can do it. And he has made great progress and we're going to continue to make pro great progress. Trevor's 19th birthday is coming up on Monday. Now the crews working here say they're hoping to get the family back into their home by the end of the year. If you're interested in volunteering or donated, we'll have that information posted on our website. In Newport News, I'm Mariela Dolores, 10 on your side.